It is brand new from Jay-Z, A Star Is Born. It's Jenny Green and Jenny Houston. We are live from Oxygen and joined by Groove Armada. Yes, Andy and Tom, welcome. I'm so I'm not used to sitting on this side of the desk. It's kind of nice. I feel like I'm part of the band. Which I'm in control. Clearly not. <laughs> but uh, welcome anyway. It's the usual fabulous weather that you're so used it is, to. Yeah, yeah. Well, and what we were just talking about earlier is, Andy, you've just come from France, which is just really depressed me with this, what we're looking at at the moment. Well, I'm here now, the one. I'm still in a portico when the rain That's coming down. Actually, I no, I'll give you that. That's true. And Tom, you came from uh, London, so. Which is also lovely. Is it lovely but, you know, over there as well? It is. But, you know, it's great to be here. It's lovely so catering. And, you know, I'm I, sure we're going to have a great time. Oh, of course you are. It doesn't really yeah. matter. People are used to the rain here, so they don't kind of go, oh, no, we won't go over to that. Exactly. But, I mean, I was watching you on TV. I, obviously, I didn't get to go, but I was watching the BBC coverage of Glastonbury, and I came home from work. I think it was last Friday night. And, the, and they they started playing your set, and I thought they'd probably play a track or two, and they played the whole thing. It was just unbelievable That's to watch. We're just that good. And it was, yeah. Did you enjoy it though yourself? Because it looked brilliant. We did. It was a, it was a big gig for us because it was uh, we uh, we did a gig in Japan a couple of weeks before that, and we decided after that gig in Japan for various reasons that too boring to go into to rewrite the whole live set. So we had one of those typical kind of sleepless ten day Groove and Marder sessions, and we sort of started again with the whole thing, and that was the UK debut. And uh, yeah, it was just electric. And uh, as you said, the, you know, the BBC um, turned down all the other stages and stuck with us for the full hour. Uh, and the atmosphere in the tent was was it was amazing. So uh, it'll be that again tonight, plus rain. So we'll see how it fares. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, you Do you worry about it when you're on stage, though? Because there is a bit of a safety hazard. I'd never thought about that before. And then last year it was so bad. <laughs> and the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs had to stop and go acoustic because one of their band members got a shock. If and we I... go acoustic, we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> like, you can't do that. So... <laughs> Well, we ukulele could, we, could, we could give it a go we could we could do it right you know? yeah we, we'd, we could do a nice little version out of the river I think yeah. I see you baby might suffer but uh, we give it a go but I mean the, the thing, chill you out think, stuff you, you could think do. about the, the set list I mean that's the thing you think about like today like we probably are going to tweak the set list on the basis of like the fact that whoever's out there right right now is probably you know we've got, we've got to give them the best shot we can really and like they're going to want constant momentum just to keep geeing them up so we're going to give it our best shot in that okay way. so the chill out stuff is safe for the it sunshine might be part that's been part for the night yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean it's, it's asking a lot of people to listen to out the river in this weather isn't it yeah. and anyway the new stuff's much more exciting so that's fine by us anyway but I mean, at this stage, I see you, baby, as being so incredible for you guys as a band. It's sort of the festival anthem, I think, of all anthems. Well, it's not anymore because we don't play anymore. Well, do you not play yeah. anymore? <laughs> well, Even the odd time. Or oh, the no, other, no, one, um, the other one from MTV Cribs, I think, was uh, is there, If Everybody Looked the Same. Oh, yes. And every time I hear that, come on, wasn't it If Everybody Looked the Same? I think that was on that. Every time I hear it starting, and I think, or was it I See You, Baby? Yeah. I don't know. No, one I think of the, it's we it is. And we don't play that one either. Yeah. yeah. yeah no, we have, but we have got Rolling Stones version of I See You, Baby, that's back in in, in this new rewrite. Very, very briefly. You blink and you miss it, but it's in there somewhere. It is. Well, so that, so, I mean, that's exactly what I was going to ask you because the songs that usually are so big for a band, they're the ones that you just you get really head wrecked over playing, don't you? You do, but like we, we kind of constantly, like we've been doing it for what, like a decade now, we're constantly top doing new versions of it and taking different takes on it. So it's kind of everything we do tonight, we still do things like Easy and Super Style and all that, but we do it in a kind of updated, even my friend. My friend is a whole new version of it. Totally so, right, yeah. yeah. Well, so that just keeps it fresh. And the new stuff is, is um, you know, there's definitely a, it's head to head now between tunes like Paper Romance and Superstar in, uh, in terms of response. You know, this this new black light music is is quietly becoming quite anthemic, you know. So that's obviously what we set out to do. It's, it's satisfying to see it. What yeah. I was very impressed about actually was uh, when I was watching Glastonbury and I wasn't sure, you maybe you can be honest here, was your microphone on? Because I didn't know you sang. Backing vocals. I'm, okay. not, I'm not, I'm not going to take the lead. All right, no, because I saw you and I was like, is he actually singing or is that? No, what do you mean I'm actually singing? No, it was How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I always think of you as such a dance actor. They saw you the guitar and then I saw you singing. I was like, I was like, I was very impressed. We've always played I, live though. We've always done it live. Yeah. And it's, main, uh, um, it's meant for some terrible gigs a long time ago when we were working out how to do it and sound fat. Yeah. But now the system works and... Uh, yeah, there aren't many other people who do it still. I mean, there are more and more with this sort of new generation of bands coming through. But um, yeah, I think, you know, live will go head to head with anyone, which we are doing tonight, in fact, because we're head to head with Jay-Z. But the setup now is more and more band-like, isn't it? I mean, over the years, it's really kind of, as opposed, you know, it's sort of morphed and... Well, we've always, we've always done that. And there's always been two things. We've been groomed on a DJ set, we've been resident on the Space Terrace for years and nightclubs all over the world. But, you know, band-wise, we've always done it uh, as a band. The difference now is that... Uh, Black Light is a much more bandy record, you know, so the whole thing ties together really well. We've got a really defined sound, and it's, it's kicking now. I mean, the live set with, with St. Saviour at the, at the front of it, alongside MAD, our, our MC who's been there from the beginning, it's electric, you know, and uh, I think the Glastonbury uh, show with this new set felt like the launch of a whole new era. 
Um, and tell me about living in different cities because that happens more and more with really established acts like yourselves where you literally meet up in the airport and, and you can live in different cities because you're just flying around the whole time. But what do you do? Five minute line check? How do you rehearse? Yeah, I mean, it, it poses a few challenges, you know, but like in a way it's cool because like, like, like Annie was saying a couple of weeks ago, we came together and... Uh, and basically rewrote this set, you know, and this is probably like the third time we played this set now. And actually it's kind of good, you know, because, you know, you get older and you have like busier lives. It all gets quite hectic. So it's quite good to just come together, you know, out of your comfort zone, just hammer it for like a few days, which is kind of how we it work It feels now. fresh. Yeah. yeah, just go at it like properly, like for like three or four days with just total intensity and then just break off and then uh, do whatever we do. You know, it, it, it's working well for and us. And has it always been there? Have you always kind of said, right, this is what we're doing and we're, and we're sticking with it? Or have you had moments where, because I, I noticed in the in the thank yous and the records leave, I'm such a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you even said something like, I think it was like, Andy, thanks thanks for showing me the light or whatever. And I was wondering, mm. when I read that, I was thinking, were you thinking, maybe this is enough and maybe I don't want to do it anymore? Or Well, it was more to do with, probably more to do with like the direction of it in a way. Mm. Like, you know, I think we were both kind of battling with it. You know, what we've done with this record is like such an enormous sort of change, you know, like we've gone from being a, you know, a a kind of real straight up dance band to trying to do something pretty different, you know, and I think there were times where you kind of question what you're doing. And, but obviously like, you know, the benefit of hindsight, it was a brilliant decision, but at the time it was probably a little bit. What's amazing about the album is because it's so, I mean, it's not a dance album as such. I mean, well, it, it has elements of it, like paper romance and things like that. And then you've got I Won't Kneel, which is kind of very, it's kind of fleet with Max Stevie Nicks yeah. sort of sound, and it's very accessible to people who like all sorts of music if they choose to. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, it is, and that, you know, that's, <laughs> it's, it's sort of pulling in those. You know, there's a lot of people out there who will have made their minds about us who would love this. Yeah, you know, if they if they hear it, and that's the great thing about the festival season is that unlike your own gigs, you're not preaching to the converted. You know, you're playing to to people who just didn't know what to expect, and, and yeah. we're blowing those people away at the minute, which is you know, obviously the idea. And I think the the new the live versions. Um, they're, so, they're quite different, well, they're very different actually of the Black Light songs and they're sounding so good that we're going to do a, an album that might be called White Light or something else, oh, but right. of, the, of the live versions after the festival season's finished. And what's coming up for you next? You've got, have you Lovebox coming up this year? Are you going to be playing yes. at that? I know. That's yeah. next week. Is yeah, it next it's week? It's really good. Yeah, that's looking really exciting. And uh, quite a lot, you know, a few of the artists that are here are going to be there. Not Jay-Z, unfortunately, but uh, we've <laughs> yeah. still got a nice lineup. And uh, yeah, that's next weekend and we're not doing it. We're like, we're having our first year. We kind of, last year we played Lovebox and it was a huge thing for us. It was like, we weren't in an album year. We were kind of uh, out of sync with the whole thing and we just made a real effort to play that show. And it kind of, without well, sounding like too much of a lovey, yeah. it took a lot of out of us, that show. Aww. So we decided, you know, to Have you got a violin it. over there, yeah. Jenny? <laughs> <laughs> so we thought but we thought Sticking we'd like to curating for each other. So we're having a cooling off period us and love bots for a year which would be nice well we've been talking so much about black light that anybody listening who's going okay well i want to hear it now um we, you were kind of half fighting over what to play because well, obviously there's so much to choose from look me in the eye sister the current single um then the the next fight was uh just for tonight yes but we've settled on paper romance, which was actually yeah. my my hope in the first place. Yeah. So I'm so delighted. Well, it's you know, I mean, just tonight, definitely, you know, get get yourself uh, a copy and, and and check it out as uh, for the rest of it. But you know, it's festival season, isn't it? It's jump up and down time, especially when it's when it's. I mean, I'll say pissing it down. I've got to say. Oh, rain. you can say pissing it down. I'll say so pissing it down. Well. I'm just checking with it. Yeah, keep, keep, keep with it. Keep with it. Okay, so well, it, yeah. I said, can I say pissing it down? Yeah. Yeah. It couldn't be more gloomy outside, yeah. but well, we're, we're going to have your set here. later on live on the air, which uh, I'm very excited about because I never get to see you live. I only ever get to hear you, and it's going to be the same again. You're going to listen to it from here, right? Don't pretend you're going to get out there. It's now brand new vocals. Like I can't. I'm in here, so this is it. But. I think we should pro- possibly have a taste of paper romance, so we know what to expect later on. Yeah, and I'm really glad that you guys are playing for the crowds because they really do need a little bit of jumping around out there. We, we know what it feels like to be on the other side of the fence, so uh, we'll give it our best shot. Uh, Andy and Tom, thank you so much for coming in. This is Groove Armada from the new album Black Light. <laughs> <laughs>